Hello guys and dolls! Today we're doing a look that is just a really happy, fun look. It's really great this time of year to wear bolder makeup and so this is a good representation of me. It's definitely, you know, it's pink, it's purple, it's gold, what more can you want from life? And, uh, you know, I paired it with this fun lip. And I used a lot of drugstore products so it's super easy to recreate. Anything that I used that was limited edition, you can find a dupe for and I'll actually have a dupe list for you on my blog if you'd like to go ahead and check that out. So if you'd like to learn how I made this pink, purple, and gold explosion happen. Then let's get started. I'm going to start this out by using Urban Decay Primer Potion. I think you guys pretty much get the drill with this by now. Now I'm going to do my highlight first. We're going to kind of work from the top down today. Uh, you know, if it feels more right for you to start with your lid and then work your way up, do that. I'm going to use a flat shader brush. This is a Sigma E55 and I'm going to use Max Vanilla uh, eyeshadow. And I'm going to start the color right here at the peak of my brow and then share the love with the rest of the underbrow. Wunderbrow! I love how I'm doing this to the sound of like a helicopter and sirens in the background. Now we're going to take Shockaholic Eyeshadow. Sigma technically calls this a pencil brush. This is the E30. Pencil brushes are usually a little bit tighter than this is. This is a bit fluffy, but because it's fluffy it actually works better for this purpose. Get some of that on the brush. Click off the extra. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the C technique. So we're going to come right here from the outer corner of the lashes, create a curved uh, like C type shape into the socket line of our eye. And because this brush is a bit fluffy, you can start blending it out immediately or you can grab another brush, it's up to you. Grab the MAC 226 brush and a little bit more product, a little bit more of the shadow, just to blend. Blend it out. What does that remind me of? Cut it out. What was that from? Home Improvement. Cut it out. What was that from? I'm gonna have. A, I'm gonna have to go look that up in a minute. Full house. Anyway. Alright, and now as a transitional color, just to blend that out, I'm going to use Milani's Pink Twice eyeshadow. It's a shimmery baked pink with a pink shimmer in it. Anyway, uh, just right along the edge of that pink. Or, I'm sorry, of the purple eyeshadow. Do you have a little extra purple that you don't really need on the bottom? Just take a Q-tip and clean up that edge. So now for the lower lid, it is, uh, you know, free and clear of eyeshadow, but I want to use a sticky base to make the shadows I'm going to put on top of it pop. So I'm going to use a concealer. This is MAC's uh, Studio Sculpt Concealer. Pretty much the only thing I ever use this for is as a sticky base, kind of like you'd use a uh, NYX Jumble pencil or something like that. Um, but I find that this actually is crease resistant longer. I don't know, I just prefer it. No good reason, just do. Alrighty, so now I'm going to use two colors to get the effect that I want in the center of the lid. So I'm going to go in first with the shimmery pink gold from the Wet n Wild Greed palette. Flat shader brush. And I'm going to place that right in the center of my lid. So the sh next shadow I'm going to use is Penny from Wet n Wild also. This one has a little bit more of a copper tint to it, which is why I put the other shadow on underneath, which has a little bit more of a pink tint. And again, right there in the center of the lid, and you can see this one is far more intense. Just get it all the way up to where the cut crease is. And then just gently blend it out. We're going to apply other colors, but I want to just have it kind of fade out. So for the pink, I'm going to use Hot Pink from uh, NYX. And I'm going to use the other side of the shader brush that we've been using. Click off the extra. And we're going to apply that in the outer and inner corners. We're going to make the purple line a little sharper. And to do that, I'm going to go in with a little filbert cut flat brush. Where the lid becomes the crease shade, I'm going to go over that and make the line really sharp. Okay, that pink is just not popping enough for me, so I'm going to pick up this 
Lani face paint eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use the hot pink in this because I know it will deliver because it is really hot pink. Inner and outer corners again. I've not picked up more pigment. This is insane. I love this palette. Okay, so now to tightline we use Herb Decay 24-7 pencil in zero. Top and bottom. For top liner, I'm going to keep it pretty basic. I'm just going to do a thin line of black. Starting at the outer corner. In the middle. And the inner corner. Then for the bottom lash, I'm going to use the same brush that we used to uh, deepen the cut crease. It's actually a MAC 194 brush. I think I discontinued this though, so... Honestly, you can use an angled brush or whatever works for you. I'm just not trying to dirty another brush. So I'm taking that color right along the lower lash line here. And you want to make sure that it, it hangs out and meets with the top shadow here. And then I'm going to take the pencil brush that we used to apply the shadow in the crease initially, the C technique, and just blend that all together. Again, I don't want to get another brush dirty, but I want to put a little something here, so I'm going to use the brush that we used to apply the concealer base, and I'm going to take Penny. Just place that right there on the inner corner, and then drag it to meet the purple. Now for some mascara, you could do false lashes with this look and it would be pretty awesome, but I think I've done enough irritating things to my eyes lately, so I'm just going to do mascara. Now for cheeks, I want to have a nice pinky cheek, so I'm going to use pink twice as a blush. Just to give me a little glow. The effect on me is just a little bit pinker and a little bit shinier than uh, MAC Porcelain Pink Mineralized Skin Finish, which I recently purchased and I'm gutted that I didn't buy a second as like a backup, but um, I kind of get the same effect with Pink Twice. And then for actual blush blush, I'm going to use Heather Silk by Wet n Wild. Just on the apple of the cheek and work it back. Now for lips, I want to sort of mimic the uh, look of the eyes on the lips. Start off with this lipstick by Jordana. It's called Fiesta. It smells like watermelons. It's kind of amazing. And put that on my lips, obviously. Alright, so once you have the Jordana lipstick all over, I'm going to take this lipstick from Stila. It's called Exhilarating. It's one of their long, long wear lip colors. I don't find that it really lasts longer than anything, but this one is an exact dupe for Candy Yum Yum. So if you didn't get Candy Yum Yum when it came out, definitely pick this up. Sort of smush it all together, basically. Again, in the interest of waste not want not, I'm going to take the same brush that we used to apply the concealer and then we used it for the under eye for Penny. I'm going to take it in Penny one more time and pat that in the center of the lip. And that's a finished look, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the ride. If you enjoyed this tutorial, definitely be sure to subscribe. It's the little yellow button up there. And I hope that you guys will look forward to more tutorials like this. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself. Bye.